do bones really go out of place? There's this misconception uh, about what spinal manipulations or uh, that's just the scientific term for when a chiropractor cracks your back. Uh, and the misconception is that there is a bone that has shifted and we're gonna put it right back into place. Even though research has been continuously showing that bones do not, unless it's a severe injury, bones do not go out of place and chiropractors do not put them back into place. So why does that persist? Why do people still think that? And I think it's for two reasons. The first being that if somebody has an irritated joint or the surrounding tissues, it really does feel like something's out of place, out of whack. I, I'm not moving right, something needs to be put back into place. Um, and then the other reason is, it's just easier to describe. Uh, more uh, newer chiropractors graduating college right now know that that's not necessarily the correct model. Sometimes they even laughingly make fun of it and call it the boop, uh, the bone out of place model. However, chiropractors have been saying that for so long, there's just this historical aspect that they kind of cling to, uh, and it's easier to describe. Shoot, I even find myself saying it sometimes. Just lay down, let's put you back into place, let's put you back into alignment. Um, if it's not out of place, then what's happening and why does it feel like that? Uh, the main reason why is because if we have an irritation or a restriction in a particular joint, the surrounding muscles and those little position sensors, we have these little position sensors that let us know where we are in space. So I'll give you an example. I can close my eyes here and uh, I can touch my nose. I can move. I know where I am in space. I can give you the peace sign. I can give you the rock on sign. I can give you the hang loose sign. My eyes are closed. I can sense where my body is in space. When we have irritation in the joint surrounding tissues and muscles, we lose that ability somewhat, to some degree, to really have that good coordinated movement and know where we are in space. And so it gives us this distorted sense of something's not right. So I, I, I can't control that movement very well. So it feels like something is misaligned or out of place uh, and it needs to be put back into place. So does that mean spinal manipulation or the, the medical term, the scientific term for cracking your, uh, your, your, your spine or your back? Does it mean that it works or it doesn't work? If it's not putting something back into place, what is happening? Uh, some of the most prominent researchers, uh, a guy named Stu McGill, you know, this gentleman right here uh, for spine pain, uh, people like uh, Craig Liebenson, rehabilitation of the spine, uh, and others, they kind of have this idea that a spinal manipulation acts like a reset for the central nervous system. So when we restore the proper movement of that joint and alleviate the irritation around the joint, there's this nice little neurological reflex that resets the coordination and the movement patterns of those muscles. They're less tight, less spastic, and they have more coordinated movement. Um, however, I do want to add to that it really does depend uh, on what the issue is. So spinal manipulation is not gonna work for every condition and every person, however, Spinal manipulation in conjunction with uh, soft tissue therapies, myofascial releases, therapeutic exercises, the combination of all of these things seem to give the best outcome for musculoskeletal conditions. Hopefully that sheds a little bit of light on what a spinal manipulation is, how it works, uh, and I always love comments, I love feedback, so leave any uh, um, questions or comments that you have below and I would love to answer those for you.